All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video today. So today's video is going to be about my Tommy Mackinnon Edition Evo 6.5. Uh, I've had some questions about whether I even still own that thing. Well, which I do. I just never drive it. So uh, I'm just going to chat you guys up about owning that car, um, what I think the current values are, and a few of my thoughts about even owning the vehicle. Um, I do enjoy owning it. However, there are a lot of drawbacks with owning a semi-valuable collector car that's actually going up in value. Uh, behind me is a Evo 6 that I'm probably about to sell. It's going back together very nicely. So, all right, so on to the Tommy Mackinnon Edition Evo 6.5. Now, as far as the cost of ownership on this car, um, you got to be very careful when you buy a uh, Evo 6.5 that a few parts are there. One being the seats. Uh, the seats are now ultra expensive to buy in 2024. Um, I was at one point accumulating parts to make a Evo 6.5 clone and I bought every part until I got to the seats and they're just too much seems like they are right now in the current market five thousand dollars and up for a pair of seats for a pair of recaros which is getting up there um so if you do buy an evo 6.5 make sure the seats are there also make sure you have a set of stock wheels the stock wheels are getting excessively expensive as well um they're made by anki and um they're uh, they're, they're a good looking wheel for the car. I think a lot of people want them just because they came with the car and they are a special coloring. Um, the wheel company Enki will not release the paint code for those wheels. So they are really hard to match. Um, they have kind of a, uh, green, greenish purple flake in them. Um, greenish silver flake. Um, it's, it's very strange. So basically, um, if you do get the wheels, uh, take a good look at them before you refinish them, uh, because you'll have a hard time matching that paint code. Um, besides the wheels, there's the fast steering rack. Uh, keep in mind that the Evo 6.5s have a block code that is specific to the Evo 6.5. Um, as well, uh, there's that titanium impeller turbo that's an important thing to have um also the cluster is uh, a special coloring so uh it's like a black and orange so it it would be nice to to have that as well um the other thing for actual drivetrain components uh keep in mind that evo 6.5 comes with a specific transfer case that is a transfer case that has the case of a 456 car but the lsd core of an evo 7. so it has the larger lsd core in the 456 case those transfer cases are excessively rare and excessively expensive i think the last time that i saw one for sale it was probably about 3500 american so so keep that in mind um yeah as far as cost of ownership globally it is just the same as any other Evo. Um, Money-wise, you're in a situation where the insurance is likely to be the same. And further to that, the uh, gas consumption is pretty much the same as well. So, but keep in mind, those are there are some rare parts on this car. All right, so because of those uh, factors, I keep my Evo 6.5 in storage away from my shop so it doesn't get damaged. So today I'm gonna to go grab it out of storage and I'm gonna throw some decals on it. What decals you might ask? These guys, the sticker pack decals. Now keep in mind that the white Tommy Max did not come in sticker pack form. These are reproductions from a company in the UK. They're very good reproductions. Um, but <clears throat> a lot of the guys who own the silver, the black, uh, the blue, the, the white cars, uh, the cars other than the red, 
still like to look like the sticker pack red card. So, and keep in mind too that these are stickers, they do come off. So uh, I just wanna change up the look of the outside of the car. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. All right, so uh, let's get started.
right guys so the decals are all done it's all set up let's take a look here all right so they turned out really well um i did not put the uh rally art ones uh, on the corners here uh, front and back I thought that was a bit too much um, I really like this uh, hood design very very cool All right, uh, I'm gonna pull it outside so that you guys can get a better look at it. Thanks for checking out the video today guys that's a wrap on the evo 6.5 tommy mackinan edition evo i'll be probably driving it around this summer so it should pop up on my channel again this summer uh if you did enjoy this video make sure that you subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell so that you get updates whenever i post new videos and please go check me out on instagram at wrench rampage have a good night